Hi, my name is Matthew Hill and I work at Redicott Manufacturing in Research and Development as a Mechanical Engineer in Training. A large part of my job here at Redicop is to test our harvest weed seed control technology for how well it kills seeds. Here at Redicop, kill rates are tested for using a standard developed in a 2017 paper by Michael J. Walsh from the University of Sydney in Australia. Kill rate testing is performed on our in-house test stand. Chaff, like that seen here, is mixed with specially prepared seed, then is put on a conveyor and fed through one of the mills. The processed chaff seeded mixture is then captured, bagged, tagged, and delivered to an independent laboratory where it's sorted through and germination tests are performed on the captured seed. Of course, experiments don't mean much if the results can't be duplicated. To this end, we invited Dr. Brienne Tideman from Agriculture and Agri-Foods Canada to come in and perform her own tests on our test stand. She was able to reproduce our results, which gave us the confidence to move forward in development using our test results. So why so many tests? Well, designs don't always work out, and the extensive testing helps us weed out the bad ones. In addition to the standardized tests performed on our in-house test stand, we are also working with the Grow Group. They're a US-based public research network with a federal mandate to study integrated weed management, of which harvest weed seed control is a major component. The Grow Group consists of over 30 partners, 28 of which are universities, which will be studying different integrated weed management systems within their local areas. By working with research consortiums like the Grow Group, we aim to supplement our knowledge about our harvest weed seed control technology with kill rates taken from the real world. By partnering with research consortiums like the Grow Group, we hope to expand our knowledge about our harvest weed seed control technology, in particular about when and where this technology can be best applied by farmers.